Greetings, Traveler, and welcome back to the Lapis Kingdom. I am the Blue Regent, and we are here for... I guess what we'll consider the first official episode of this, like, um... Weird transport trade, um... Complicated <laughs> play style that I'm doing. Um... And if you remember from the last episode, uh, this is the... This is the... If you remember from the last episode, this is the village that we decided is going to be like the um, pig raising village, and that is the ultimate destination for cooked pork chops over there. And then s somewhere back there is is where we're going to cook them. So this is um, if this is your first episode in this uh, this series, this th the point of this is kind of like a a, a transport fever inspired, um, unnecessarily complicated way of playing Minecraft. Uh, basically what I'm trying to do is um, set up like a system of a city either produces goods, refines goods, or is a place that goods are sold to. Um, so so this, this is a production center and we've got these barns here and what we're gonna have here is like a little pig farm. Um, now, my goal is today is to see if I can find anywhere, and I, th I think I'm going to use this tree line as kind of like my guide. I, I want to see if I can find somewhere that can be like a, either a, a coal mining village or a village that can become like a lumber production village and another village that can turn wood into charcoal. Uh, basically what I need to find is is a way to get fuel for cooking the pork and then and then I'm gonna connect everything up so I'm gonna use this tree line as kind of my a travel guide oh yeah we got a lot of time and we'll see what we can find now eventually once I start getting some like networks set up I, I, I'm gonna want some input from you as far as ooh, is that another city over there in the distance it looks like it um i'm gonna want some input from you as far as like um do cities upgrade as they get goods that they want um delivered to them and if they upgrade like, well, should I build new buildings? That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking, is that they'll get new buildings that I can build and stuff. And also, should they get new needs? As far as, like, should I try to connect more resources to them? And if I'm doing that, like, what should the caps be? Or what should, like, the requirements for upgrade upgrades be? Um, and, and we'll go a little bit more into detail with that as we go but it, but if you're watching this and you're thinking like oh yeah cool like this place supplies that city with food like how much food should that city get before it like levels up and gets ooh wouldn't have been the end in the world but I almost fell down there I hear you zombies chicken laying an egg somewhere um so far, not seeing anywhere that is a village. I, I did see a settlement in the distance up here. Are there any villages in here? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Tucked away. Um, cool. I really hope that you don't have a market, little village, and I can use you as a resource production site. Okay. So we've got a church. That's cool. Let's do like a little scan of the area and see what they've got. I'm gonna need your potatoes. Ooh, I'm gonna take this pumpkin pie. And, <laughs> and this spruce log. Oh, did I disappoint you guys? And I'll take all this bread. And all these potatoes. And I'm going to take these things. I'm trying to limit my harvesting for now until I have, like, cities that 
until I have settlements that are like harvest situations. I don't really want to get any wood blocks until I have, oh, well, don't mind if I do. Until I have like a forestry town. And so it's, it's handy to find these, um, okay. Ooh, new blocks. This might be a mining town, you guys. <laughs> um, anyways, what I was saying is I don't want to gather too many blocks until I have a place that is like a dedicated site to harvest it. Um, so finding things like, finding things like, um, like the spruce logs and stuff is useful because I can, I can use those without having to actually chop down trees myself. So I'm just going to keep taking all this food and building material. Um, I am not seeing a market, which means this is a village and I think this might be a mining village, which means that we could easily make this into a... Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, where did it respawn me? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I just did that. Oh. That's okay. That's okay. I've got to I've got to run back there and see if I can get all that stuff. There was man, I can't believe I just did that. Okay. Um <laughs> I have to uh I have to get back there before all that stuff decays. I'm going to make that a mining village. I'm going to have that harvest coal. So so it'll be specifically a coal mining village. And once I get that going, I can set up, I'll officially set up like my, my network of roads to start getting our pork chop production going. Okay, we're back in the village. Let's try to get to that ravine. Let's see if we can find a safe way down and see our stuff. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, we made it. Ooh, some dripstone. Okay. Oh boy. Um. Okay, I think we've gotten most of that stuff back. We did. Not seeing the pickaxe. <laughs> oh! Haha! <laughs> cool. Okay. Alright. Um, well, that could have gone better, but it also could have gone way, way worse. So let's, um. Let's gather some of this coal, and then we'll worry about how to get back up top. There's a lot of dripstone around here, too. That's cool. Okay, we're back up close to the top. Let's grab some more of this coal. I have to say, I kind of like the new... Um, I like the new textures for, for the ores. Uh, I know that that got a lot of criticism. Um, I, don't, I don't really know why. But um, other than other than the fact that people don't like change, um, which I get, but uh, I, I like them. I think they're I think they're kind of neat. They um, they obviously are 
more visually different, which is good if you're like colorblind. Um, but also they're just, it's just different, you know, like, like visually, I'm using visually twice now. Um, like it just kind of improves the overall look of the game. Um, you know, this, we, oops, we can all agree that the, like, the intentional simplicity of every, we can all agree that the intentional simplicity of everything is still part of the art, um, but you can have simplicity and unique looking items, um, so, ooh, I might divert that waterfall and have that be my way down up and down for now um, especially since I just created a way for these goofballs to get down there um, yeah I'm gonna close that up cuz I don't want you guys going down there and I'm going to divert this waterfall over here and that's gonna be the official way to get down there for now. So yeah, you can you can keep a simplified art style and still have assets look unique. Um, and I feel like that's kind of what they did, and it's it's cool. Um, you know, it's 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 good that they're being more inclusive to to more people. Um, that should. That one, get rid of that one. Yeah, and that's how we'll get down there from now on, probably. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. And um, so, you know, they're being more inclusive to people who want to play the game, but also just it just has a little bit more flavor without like overcomplicating things. Um, so, I think it's cool. I think it's a cool little change. Um, and I like all the new stones, too. All the new, er, <clears throat> and I like all the new blocks that I have to build with, too. So I'm looking forward to being able to mess with that. Oh, I just saw a creeper in there, and it despawned. And it. <clears throat> okay, so we've got some coal, which is cool. Um, so now we're gonna need to set up a walking path so now we're gonna set up need to set up some roads to get us to get our goods <clears throat> so now we're gonna need to set up our some roads to get us to so now we're gonna need to set up some roads to get the Oh, that's too many. Um, so now that we've got some coal, I got all these shovels, and we're going to set up a road leaving this village, heading back to the other settlements so that we can start getting our good trans <clears throat> so we can start getting our goods transportation going which will allow us to um, start setting up our trade route so what I think I'm gonna do for now is just kind of do like a partial path just kind of Tracing how we get back to the pig farm settlement. And then what I'll ultimately do is, is go back and make a more defined road. Okay, so I've got the start of a road between the pig farm village and the coal mining village figured out, which now means that I need to connect this to the city that will be accepting the pork chops, and then I need to connect all of this to the 
village that will cook the pork chops. So once I get that done, then I can start. Um, then I can start trading. I think between them. And of course, by trading, I mean just just running stuff back and forth. Um, so there's this road right here. Where does the road end over here? Right here. Okay, so we're just going to kind of do like a rough this direction kind of thing. Okay, so we've got like a rough idea of where this road will go. And then... <clears throat> if I come down here... The cooking village is like straight that way, I think. So let's um, let's use this road. No, um, we'll use this one, and we'll just kind of start working our way this direction. Hopefully find it. <laughs> okay, so we found our way back, and it looks like we're probably going to end up having to make a bridge, which is fine. Um, we'll work on where this road connects when... Uh, it's not about to be nighttime, so let's go to bed. I stole that bed. <laughs> um, let's find a bed. There's a bed. Okay. Keep an eye out for monsters. And. Okay, so this road ends here. So maybe. It's a weird spot. Um. Okay, I see it. Creeper, you stay over there. We'll just kind of do like a this kind of thing. Yeah, and then the road can. Come down here, and it's definitely going to be a bridge. Okay. Okay, so we have a rough connection between all of our settlements, which means now it's just time to officially connect them. And then we can start moving goods back and forth. Okay, so we have pork production linked up with the end point. So that means I've got two more connections to make, and of course they're the longer of the two. So again, we got to keep an eye out for creepers because apparently I slept a little late. And then let's um let's connect these villages. Now I know I said that tree harvesting wasn't gonna happen that much until I got a like a forestry kind of village but trees that are in the way of the road have to go. So 
I am gonna get a little bit of wood from that, but I'm still not really like going around and just chopping down trees um, just for the sake of the wood. So it's it's a it's a bonus that I get this wood, um, but I'm not chopping it down specifically for the wood. Once again, just chopping down these two trees so that I've got room for my road. And then we'll get it connected. <laughs> I'm so close and I only have one shovel left that's okay we'll just keep getting the work done and I've got to go back and get some more shovels made then that is fine Of course, I'm, I'm only really making rough roads right now. Um, as more resources become available to me, um, you know, I, I'm going to make my paths a lot nicer, which is going to make my job a lot easier. I won't have to jump. Um, and then even, ooh, at some point I'd like to discuss whether or not I'll be able to use like horses and donkeys um, to haul goods and like what kind of requirements need to happen for that um, until then tree you're on you're in the road you gotta go And then, are we gonna are we gonna allow for ultimately redstone and and start setting up like redstone like trains basically um, for transporting goods back and forth? That would be cool. Um, get a little bit like a kind of like a factorio thing going on. Um, if, if you remember from all of the uh, villager trading hall shenanigans um, in the Minecraft, like, or in the Warcraft, like, production village, um, redstone is not at all my strong suit. In fact, I would even say redstone is just not not a thing I do um, and so that would be kind of fun to to have a little bit of um, troubleshooting on how to figure all that out um, so maybe I'll do that maybe we'll introduce like 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 trains for, for lack of a better word uh, in the future these roads all have to be cleared up that's okay we're not worried about that right now um, is there a crafting table in here no there is a chest in here. Um, 
gonna want those, but not not now. Uh, okay. Need a crafting table. One of these houses has one. I know it. Aha. Um, I need some more. We'll say six. Yeah. Now another um, limit I've put on myself until we get like quote tool production going um, I'm only going to use stone and wood tools um, metal t metal tools is a that's like a I need a I need a production facility for those I think um, I don't I don't know about stool I don't know about stone tools yet. I, I, um, I think I'll just limit that, limit metal tool production. Um, but if you notice, I made, I made wood tools because I'm not sure about that one yet. Okay, let's go. Um, but I, I think I will allow myself to make stone tools with, despite not having a tool production like settlement Ooh, should I have made more shovels well we'll see So close. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll sleep, and then it'll be stone shovels from here on out. Okay, so now we have our coal village connected to our pig village, which means that we only have one more connection to make, and that's that's the really long one. Um, at this point, I imagine I, I, I probably will have, to some capacity, done some time-lapse stuff. I don't know if I want to time-lapse this one, too. It's a lot of time-lapse for one episode. Um... So maybe what I'll do is do a cutaway, connect that, and then we'll build a bridge and call it an episode. So I'm going to connect the other two, I'm going to connect the city to the um, like butcher cooking village, and then we can proceed from there.
Okay, so the whole path is um, drawn out, <laughs> finally. And actually, let's let's take a look at this for a second. Um, Twenty-three sh wooden shovels and eleven stone shovels. That's that's how many I went through to make this road, um, which, which which is a lot. And I'm glad I don't have to do that again for a while. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to build the uh, most simple bridge ever. And this will mark the official um, creation of our first like trading line. W one thing that I'm going to have to get used to real quick is that... Um, it's gonna take a little while before I start getting into like really building anything just because I'm putting constraints on getting my hands on resources um, once once I get more resource production locations like set up then it will be a little bit less of a headache um, oh these bridges are different heights. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> I, I can I can solve that. Um, and by these bridges, I, I definitely mean these these ends of the bridge. Um, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do. For a second, I, I was trying to figure out what I did wrong, um, but that's okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, there we go. And let's see here. Let's. All right, get some supports built. Could ha! Uh -huh. I know what I'll do. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, it's hitting the wrong buttons. Gonna do a little bit of like a. Uh... like a little stone footing here. shy that's okay that's okay this is just a decoration down here um but yeah so the roads are connected uh which means that starting next episode we can get our pork chop production going do i have i do have charcoal on me do i have i do i do have coal on me so i'm gonna dump this off um because i can now so coal goes in here. 
Great. Hello. Enjoy your call. Um, yeah, so... We'll head back... <clears throat> So we'll head back to the pig farm village, and that's where we will call it. All right, so we are back in the pig farm meat production <laughs> uh, village, and everything's connected now. The coal village is out there. Um, we've got our, our raw meat production here. That'll be sent way over there for cooking and then it'll come back here to feed these people and that is the first of our like supply line um systems going on uh next episode we're gonna set this this little like pig farm area up to be more like a pig farm um these little stable buildings i think this town has two do i do, am i remembering that correctly yes there are definitely two they're, they're going to be turned into where the pigs are. And I'm going to spend some time thinking about whether or not um, I can use horses. And you tell me if you think I should be able to use horses to like move stuff faster. It would definitely make my job easier. Um, but also, so would not playing with all these rules I set up myself um, so yeah let me know let me know if you think that I should be able to use horses to move back and forth faster and move the goods back and forth faster I look forward to seeing you next time in the Lapis Kingdom while we continue to work on this transport series have a great day bye